So a lot to the product. It's super simple to use. Once you get in, uh, it just takes a few clicks to sell an item. You can just use the camera, and you know I can take a picture of that chair, use it. It has this lady leg in it, but it works. <laughs> and uh, for scale. Yeah, for scale. <laughs> uh, and you just type in a description. So like the category, I'm just gonna do other for now. And when you put in a price, it tells you how much you will get after the commission that we charge, so five percent and thirty cents. We only make money on successful transactions. So using the app is free, downloading is free, listing items is free, interacting with products is free. Uh, when you, when you press listen, we will ask you, uh, since my debit card is already there, it won't ask me for it, but uh, this, is, this is how we plan to grow faster. So we have content creators who are people who are selling products. The moment you list a product for sale, uh, we tell you that you know, if you share items shared on social media, sell a lot faster. So you're more likely to promote the product doing that by sharing the product yourself. Uh, I'm going to do the next. So how buying works is you click on a category. It tells you how far things are. My friend has just listed this desk. So I'm going to go buy it. Uh, I can see where it's located on the map. I press the buy button. It tells me it's going to cost me a dollar plus 99 cent transaction fee. I press accept. And this is going to ask me for my payment information. So I'm going to scan. <laughs>
Yeah, we don't force you to share it on Facebook. It's it's a choice. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. How do you handle negotiation? Yes. So right now we don't have a negotiation feature. There's a price you put in, and if someone wants it, they buy it. What we plan, uh, what is coming in, is offers. So you can, when you list an item, you can say that we are open to offers, and then someone can someone can say, okay, I can't pay fifty, but I'll pay thirty dollars for it. And then if you accept it, the credit card is charged, and the pay process goes on. Yes. Is there an option for the buyer or the seller to walk away from the trade? Yes. Yes, there is an option for you to walk away from the trade. As long as it's not completed, yes. So you can't, like, the buyer can't pay and, uh, you know, you get the item from him. Uh, you, you go to the seller, you pick up the item and then say, no, I didn't actually get it. That doesn't happen if you already know it. But till the point that you confirm the transaction, you can back away from it. Do you have time for one more question? Yes. What happens if the seller doesn't confirm that they've sold it or given it to you? Is there any recourse? Yeah, so what, what, how, how this works is there's a confirm button on the app uh, right above the messages. So when you actually go meet the person before you are as the seller, uh, if you have it all, like the moment you give the product, that's when you confirm it. Who? Who so, what? Both people? So, uh, yeah, simultaneous. It needs to be simultaneous. So right now how it is, is there's a QR code scanning. So when the buyer presses confirm, a QR code pops up. And when the seller presses confirm, we use the scanner on his phone to scan that QR code. But what we are moving to is just a text-based thing where you press confirm and you have a dialog box that pops up so you don't need to like have that awkward moment when 